Hey, how's it going? Tech Tony here. I um, want to go over a few things. So in this chat form, um, I have included my article that's been, that was published on another website about WordPress versus Wix versus Squareface versus everyone else pretty much. And then I made a podcast about this too as well. The podcast is pretty much the article, but you can listen to it or read it either or. It sounds great. Also the live recording to help go over a few things as well for this, but let's talk about your website because I've been doing this for over 7,000 years and I've consulted and built over 2,000 websites, give or take. I've definitely consulted on a lot of websites. And as I've stated, I've had one company that was running successfully on something that was not a WordPress site. And I get it, starting a business is hard. It's expensive, there's expensive work and Wix, it's free, drag and drop, very simple set, forget type of deal, and it's not designed for growth. It, if you're starting out, it's okay to start out on, and that's about it, it's okay. If you wanna grow and get serious, it's not going to work for longevity at all. Especially if you start getting popular and you start working and you're getting lots of people, blah, 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 blah. It's not gonna work. And, and that is my professional fact. It's not an opinion, it's a fact. So a few things I wanna go over. First of all, you have Facebook tracking, which is okay, good. But you have no Google tracking. Google tracking is the end all be all of analytical data. If someone burps on your website, Google's gonna tell you what they had for lunch. They're gonna tell you where they came from, how they got there, where they looked, how long were their website. Did they convert, did they not convert? There's just a slew of information. Here, I'll show you an example, hang on. Here is, well, whenever it decides to load. But here is a client of mine. And this particular website is an entertainment venue, kind of like you. Uh, entertainment's not traveling, it's skate rooms, but we can track his users, his revenue, his conversion rate, his sessions. He's made $595 in the last seven days. Uh, active users right now. I don't care if Wix has their own analytics. It's nothing, nothing compared to what Google can do. Facebook will report to Google Analytics. That's how strong this is. Um, is acquisition report. Are they coming from Google Ads? Are they coming from Facebook, Instagram Reels, Instagram Stories, TikTok, YouTube? How is he getting traffic? Where is he spending his money? His popular pages. Oh, we're getting traffic to inflatable. Cool, cool, cool. Device work. And remember, everything you do, everything, specifically your website, mobile first in mind, okay? Because I'm willing to bet, just that my clients, the majority of your traffic is coming from a mobile phone. Um, how's his Google Ads are doing? Just a ton and ton of things. Um, I have 320 educational videos on my YouTube channel, and I just pour over this stuff because it's always constantly updating anyways. You need to have this. If you don't know how to do it, go ahead and reach out to me. And I can, I shouldn't do it for free, but I will do this one thing for you for free and help you set this up properly because it's so easy to set up that you can screw it up. Okay, back to your website. This, get rid of it. That is junk. Also, please excuse the noise in the background, my kids here. Okay, this, extremely unprofessional. Nobody uses Hotmail. Get a Gmail or get a G Suite account. Um, this needs to be clickable. Oh my gosh, that looks terrible on mobile. Um, yeah, that needs to be clickable. That's called on-site SEO and Google will recognize that number. Does it recognize it now? Does nothing for you, let's see. Lavish experience travels, where are you? There's no contact us page? That's not gonna work. Oh boy, there's some problems here. All right, hang on. Um, the, uh, I'm gonna try this one, one bit at a time. Um, your header, which is the upper part here, needs, what happened? Where did this go? 
needs to be better organized. So it needs to be homepage, about us, services, top three services, additional services. Why top three? Because Google is learning your website. If you're just like throwing crap out there, Google's not gonna know what to index you for or it's gonna index you properly. Indexing means what does Google think you are? And you train it that. <coughs> Book online's fine. It's probably a travel blog, a blog as well. You don't wanna get too crazy, you wanna keep it simple. Remember, you wanna teach Google what you are as quickly as possible. And a good, and I didn't mean a damn good SEO specialist, and we're talking someone that, that works on, there's three types of SEO, on-site, off-site, technical, that affect your website, your brand, and your company. A good off-site SEO specialist might be able to get you ranking in eight months. Branding alone, because I don't see a logo up here. Branding alone, brand recognition alone, can take a year and a half to two years for it to work. And if anyone tells you anything otherwise, they're lying. So you have a login button, that's cool. Uh, it will not sustain itself on the Wix site, I promise you that. I've never seen a login button or a login. Okay, so what's, what's this? There's a big old gap here. Um, hopefully this image is royalty free. Um, this, you can't see this. If I'm an elderly couple, well, I don't know what your target audience is, but if elderly people, uh, they're not gonna be able to see this at all. What happened here? What happened here? This looks like a stock photo. No, no. Cool, I want a VIP cruise. Where's a link to it? Link to it. This, no. Travels, oh no, is this a one page? That's not working. Huh? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense because says read more phone number is not clickable that's interesting okay blog uh oh okay that's not working, whatever those are. Your website's a bit confusing. I wouldn't know if I wanted to use you to book something, I wouldn't know what to book, where to book. It means better flow direction. And that's what analytics is for. It's gonna tell you where are people going? Where are they? Are where in the website are you losing them? Where on the checkout process are you losing them? <clears throat> okay, next thing. Let me pause this. All right, for FTC guidelines and regulations, I can't show you any of my travel agent clients that I work with and consult with, but this is called Google My Business, aka the map. This right here. This is the sole foundation of your business. You build a business on rock, you don't build, I mean, you build a foundation for your business on rock, you don't build a foundation of your business on sand. And everything you do, website, social media, TikTok, which you should be using TikTok videos, okay? That's, you should be using TikTok. Um, YouTube, Instagram, your website, everything you do is be built on this. And here's the problem, I copy and pasted your business name into Google and nothing came up. Which is really bad. That's bad. And here's the reason why. 
You don't know the possibility of potential traffic you're missing out on by this little listing. For example, this stuff right here is overly powerful. Reviews, posts, engagements, all of it. This is your foundation you build your company on. I don't see it. And I don't, I don't have time and I'm not going to invest without being paid to go into your SEO. But if I don't see it typing in your own name, we have problems off the bat. And then there's lots of like listings, how many times you looked up, what people looked up for, all types of things. If you don't have this, this is something I can work with you on. I can't do this for free to set this up. But it's one of the most sorely underused platforms for my clients. <coughs> Look, she showed up 36,000 times in searches. How much potential business do you think you're missing? Because I couldn't find your listing easily, quickly, and effectively. Anyways, um, let's go over a few more things. Let's look at your Facebook and Instagram. Is this clickable? That's not clickable. That's not good. And the reason being this is important because Google will recognize that number on your Google My Business listing and they'll be, it will build brand trust. Brand trust is a style of off-site SEO. Ooh, no, don't do that. That's the wrong type of post. Hey, good job. You're displaying a secure website. You'd be surprised how many people don't do that. So we're missing up on a few things. How's your Twitter? Whoops. Okay, never mind. Lots of rooms for improvement. Everything's working. If you need help, questions, concerns, I hope this helped you. Take care. And let me know if you need anything.